Well met. I am Mengel and we are playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Episode 12. We are in Utsich. Utsich. I can't pronounce that town's name. Utsich. Utsich. Um, investigating the bandit Limpy. This is where we finished off. So I did, as uh, mentioned the end of the previous episode, I did go have a look at how to lockpick with a Xbox remote. Apparently you have to rotate the left and the left thumbstick. You have to rotate it like in a quick motion anti-clockwise repeatedly. Then while doing that, simultaneously, um, ideally pinching the right thumbstick with your thumb and index finger, rotate the sweet spot along with the locking mechanism rotating type of motion. So we'll try that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll go through this game without picking any <laughs> any locks. Okay, so I wonder if we should bother to go read now. And then we can progress this current quest. What's the name of this quest? I always push that button. It feels like a, if it should be a menu button. Quest log. Uh, mysterious ways. Find out more about Limpy Lubosh. Lubosh. So yeah, that's what we're busy with. Yeah. I like this town. The green lus luslands. Rolling lands. Beautiful grasslands. Uh, is that a bar? No, the bath house is down by the river. Of Uchi. Let's go chat with this uh, merchant. Maybe he's got some lockpicks. Am I clean? Cabbage! Lovely, delicious cabbage! I want to I use that barrel. Trader. I'm honored that you should come to me. You got a little something there on your shirt, see? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lypa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. Who was the Lubosh was murdered? Uh... Start with that one. That man Lubosh who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Do you know anyone Lubosh used okay. to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Let's trade. <laughs> No, not very well with trading. Must buy all the honey in Middle Earth. Ah, I mean, what's this air called? Uh, Bohemia? Somewhere? <laughs> far, far away. Garlic. Uh, let's treat Henry to with, with some mead. Watermelon? That's lovely. I don't think we've got anything to sell. Okay. <coughs> Pricing feels quite elevated, even for back then. I mean, was Sylvan or whatever they trading with not worth a lot of. Uh, didn't carry a lot of value, it seems, in their own lands. Oh, what are you selling? A whole bunch of veggies as well. God be with you. And you, my friend. Good luck to you. An axe. Uh, bandage, Hercules and his diet. Spade, oh, this guy also sells a spade. Sp s plural. Um, an axe. Yeah, wounding, let's buy wounding arrows, I guess. Today it's raining in real life here at my, by my house. And for a change, it's not raining in game. <laughs> I need must get them all. <laughs> and a pair. One pair. 
save your snaps. Yeah, bow, bow. Let's take one more. Oof, spending a lot of <coughs> grosh in here, it seems. Reputation gained. People love me spending money. Encumbered. Why, Henry? Let's put some bandages. Wrong button. What's new? Four. On the walking loot chest. Marigold. How much is. Hmm. Interesting. How much shave your snaps? Boom, boom. And nourishment, let's have a mead. Eat mead. Are you becoming an alcoholic? Uh, nourishment, three. Not a lot. Let's have that. Dried, that's six. I guess we can have that as well. Some dried meats. AKA jerky. South African known as Bulbul. Uh -huh. Oh, my bedfellow's got some blood on it. Strange. Dried mushrooms. Guess we can split some of the honey towards the horse as well. There we go. Good. We're looking good. <laughs> Useful to the apothecary, cook, candle maker, and the brown bear. <laughs> Love it. So where's water at? I want to wash myself, rinse myself. I'm walking around your dirty armor. It's not acceptable. Mm, good day. Hey, is someone there? Hello. What? Is there something you need? Okay, I'll just go. Weird. The way she's wearing her dress as well. It's like... Giving the wrong message. Let's go in there now. Oh. Yes, so I just want to use your water trough or whatever it's called. Barrel. Who's there? Oh, you guys crazy. It's a bunch of blind people. It's probably a school for the blind or something. No, just not to be funny or anything. Not to make fun of anyone. But it's the way it feels. What are you doing here by the scribe? That's strange. Where is he? Wow, busy place. Is this where all the cool kids hang out? The bailiff. Yeah, it's probably not very nice of myself coming drunk. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> Can't take his liquor. Okay, one day... Uh, Countryman going to the nest of the goose pound. Their nag, all yellow and glittering. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it. Um, oh, he took it, omen, on second thoughts, and soon found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning the same thing occurred and he soon became rich by, shell by shelling his eggs. As he grew rich he grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it. I need to find nothing. Well that's stupid. <laughs> I like it when you're drunk, everything sways. I've read the book. Quiz me. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There was something about some fellow and goose, I need to read again, that being greedy doesn't pay. That being greedy doesn't pay? Okay, Andrew's getting smarter. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. <laughs> You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? 
Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Well, clearly that guy's not, yeah, you know, misplacing his trust. <laughs> Way too much in Henry. But let's give it a shot then. Oh. One de Courtney Ma. What was it? No, man, this is the same. I started reading Latin or something. It's not even Latin. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, okay. Iste libre tam. Swaying his head. Masu ut non equella aparte proset libru muti mugustis nut. Optimus orator est cupus pos pat poshi verbus plurima disses decisit. Yeah, I'm I'm really like being what? Where are you going, dude? I'm busy here. Being being disrespectful reading while I'm drunk. <laughs> What's up with the animals in this game? I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? A liquor party profit, non a liqua part drop it. I mean, it's weird. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus, uh, ut non a liqua parte profit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. <laughs> there we go. Henry can read. Done. So if you're new to K Kingdom Come, oh, it's like very easy. It's an easy one though. Um, it's always good to go to to come here and to get the reading. So on the map. Let's zoom out a bit. Which, which seat um, where Henry's at is the scribe. Right here. He's got a. He's, um, he's got the little uh, quiver. Is, what's it called? Um, quill. Quill and ink on his uh, sh signage. Shop sign. House sign. And um, those. Um, in the previous episode, I initiated the quest, but I mean, in this one, you now saw what I, how I basically f finished the questioning. It's real, it's really. So I was hoping to buy some lockpicks, but it seems nobody is selling any. Let's try the inn. We might. I wonder if we should bother to get a place to sleep. I think not. This is a villager. It's not the. Innkeeper. Good day to you. Good day. Um, trade. May the Lord watch over you. So other? No, it doesn't have lock picks. Food, it's food. All is all. Okay. Thank you. So, food you can eat for free from these pots. It's like a community outreach <laughs> thing. So, ah, uh, all over. So, nourishments, 87. Yeah, I'm not going to eat from it now. I don't want to be over. I can't recall how much it uh, 
Jesus Christ Bulgy. be praised. How may I serve you? How may I serve you? Wow, so polite. Other. Nope. No lockpicks here. Damn. Okay. Is there any more shops in this town? Zoom in. Unexplored. So we've got. We've, we've been to the grocer and the trader. So yeah, it doesn't look like it. Next thing to look up where to find more lockpicks. Oh, look at that ninja. Well, if there's anybody to ask, it's the priest. He sees his wooden practicing sword. Can I speak to Father Golden? Thank you. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. Oh no! My uh, remote died. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanosh is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosch? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can. Because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Didn't see that coming. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what, give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern, over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Take care now. Okay, so we'll meet the priest in the tavern at the evening. John Huss. <laughs> this guy's a lightweight. So let's um, investigate what else we've got in town. I guess we can go have a bath and launder our clothes. Night, wannabe night that likes to be pampered. Oops, I oh, might as well jump on horseback then. Trusty steed. Should have been called Steve. Whoa, these fields. Steve. I wonder geographically, um, I'm guessing that when they made these uh,
towns, which is obviously historically accurate. And geographically, I'm guessing they kind of probably either went there or they used whatever means. I don't know, not Google Maps, maybe some other, who knows. But um, I'm, guess, I'm guessing this is as steep as portrayed in this game or was, more or less. Which is weird to farm like that. But I'm guessing you make use of the land. Oh, so the bathhouse is not here. I was thinking of another town. So I wonder if I can buy something from the tanners. Yeah, just got. What was that? Talk, talk, no. Okay. And for interest, like, what is it time? Oh, it's quite late already. Lou Bosch. What else do we have here? Yeah. Oof. Steep. Come on, pebbles. <laughs> Come on, pebbles, you can do it. Oh, another one. So, looking at the map once again. So we've got a point of interest. I'm guessing it's maybe some sort of a horse master stud farm or something yeah. there. Let's go investigate. We'll take a left over here. Might as well get this. Uh, already did get it. How do you get in there? Where is the entrance to this place? Yeah! the lady of the farm, whatever this is called. Oh, villager. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Oh, my boy. Oh, I almost, I almost thought she was picking with a pick in the dirt. He says she's using a hoe. <laughs> or a sick in there, I thought. Oh boy, she's using a pickaxe. Um, should I... Did we discover this place? Not yet. Well, let's go in there. Yeah, my ba I played Farming Simulator earlier and my battery totally died <laughs> in the while I wasn't talking to that priest. Who's in charge here? Nice. Easy. Oh, nice uh, animation. Head groom. Oh, whoa, dude. <laughs> Take it easy there. Good day to you. Yeah, you just buy a horse. Okay. Take care now. <laughs> Take care now. No, we're in no position to buy uh, horses. What is this place called? Horse trainer. Hmm. Ooh, this guy's got a name. I'm honored that you should come to me. Hmm, training. 
I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Yeah, let's do it. Now pay close attention. Good luck. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, we know where to trade to train horse riding, and we're going to have to make uh, either level myself or um, get that herb perk where the horse doesn't shy as easily, so that we can um, combat from horseback in the future. And we need to go back to Captain Bernard to, to brush up more on our um, sword, on our combat. We are, we suck at this stage. I suck. <laughs> Henry sucks. <laughs> Not you guys watching me, you, you're good. So it's the butcher. Very easy. Oh, yeah. A shop guard. Ugh. Not very sanitary, are we? <laughs> God be with you. What can I do for you? <laughs> Looks like she's got high in her here. Um. Let's try. Goodbye. Oh really? That's. Oh, I should really fix that. Goodbye. Oh well, bacon is quite expensive. Let's say cracklings, like a little snack. Fourteen Groschen. Oof. Rump. Smoked sausage. And bacon. Check. Thanks. Need some meat. So this town doesn't seem as got any. Um, so we've been there and to the butcher. So let's go check who's out there. Hopefully they've got uh, like a blacksmith or something, because that's what I'm actually looking for. But I've spent all my money. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Every time I go to the shops, I can't help it. I have to spend. Yeah. I guess I will not be taking a bath <laughs> or Henry. Because that was the initial idea. Where's this view? Where? Where? Oh, there he is. I'll do so. We are, I, um, do, in this. In this week, uh, in D and D, this happened. I discovered. Somebody help me! How do I run? Thief! Thief! So he's getting tired. I don't know what tackle is. <laughs> he's running him with the arm, and he's getting tired. Tackle, right? <laughs> oh, there we go. Enough. Please, leave me be. And what are you going to do about it? That bloated belly surely stole that ring anyway. No excuses. Hand it over. Here. You got the thrashing you deserved. I hope you've learned your lesson. I'll amend my life from the very foundations. Really? Believe me. I don't. You really let him go? Just like that? 
And did you get the loot back? I did. I have it here. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> And just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small <laughs> reward. Thanks. Oh, no, really? It's more like a tip. <laughs> Where's that bandit left? Religion. I mean, that bandit, he wasn't armed. It's like an old man. I'm not going to start killing <laughs> random people. Left trigger was tackle. That was the quick. Let's see. What's the time? Uh, it's almost seven. We better go meet up the priest. Yep, that's him. <laughs> Checking out. What's this vineyard? Sweet. Well, sour. Just more sweet in the Middle Ages, I believe. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, what I was about to say is in my D&D session uh, in the week, um, the party I'm doing, doing I'm hosting the game for, I'm the DM, DMing for, um, they were in Mirabar and uh, uh, we're playing a typical uh, Storm Giants uh, campaign and it's set in Faerun, so uh, they were in Mirabar and I described also more or less the same scene where they were in the market and they were like approximately, uh, like I think it was like 50 or me, 50 feet or 100 feet or so away and they just heard all the people shouting thief thief and they turned around they saw the guy dashing with a horse and it was actually a horse feet. So yeah, it's kind of reminded me of that now. Oh, <laughs> happy hour. Let's park the uh, pebbles over here by the hitch. Garlic that will cure all ailments. And onions All that ailments. Cry when Should you have known. What? And cry for joy when you taste them. <laughs> Good day to you. You are so enthusiastic. I cannot help but buy, buy something else from you. If you say that, I'm not going to. No more meat for Henry. He can't take his liquor. He'll buy another pear. <laughs> That's more like it. That pricing seems good. So, uh, what's his... <laughs> More rep gain. What's his um, hunger? 83. Energy. The devil's game. <laughs> Invisible dice. <laughs> this is a place to be if you want to meet. Me to last. But Henry's got his eyes to on a, another last. Okay, so let's have a look how much food this gives you. Nourishment, I'm on 83 currently. Uh, eat from pot. Yep, <laughs> that's what I was scared of. 108. Ugh. So how much was that? Um, 25. I'm a bit early. Very hard. It's very hard. Okay, so we'll just sit here and wait. I should buy. Uh, you know what? I'm quickly gonna going to go um, check out what was on the other side of town that I've marked. I'm just gonna run there. I'm not gonna bother to. Oh, I I don't think he can run. He's oh, he can. Yeah, run off that. Food you ate. Pretzel. Ooh, baked goods. Baker man. Hello. My respects to you. Let's trade. So, bread, bread roll. Ten honey. I'm starting to think I'm going to bankrupt myself on honey. Uh, pretzel, yeah, why not? He's got a second story. Oh, this is nice. And a, like, a, what do they call those uh, storage rooms? Keep your goods cool. 
It's not a larder. Like a basement area. Church. Uh, what else do we have in town? Oh, I'm still up ahead. What do we have here? Grocer. Wow, those garlics are golden. <laughs> Let's have a look what the... I'm probably not going to buy something from this guy too. Maybe something small. Or an old lady. Nice shop. Jesus Christ! Your clothes! Mm -hmm. Were you assaulted? Yep. Damn bandits, may they burn in hell! You've got a very like, voice of a young lady. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> You're gonna do this to me? More honey? Honey hoarder. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be bankrupt by buying all the honey in town. <laughs> oh, and I'm encumbered. Okay, let's go look for the priest. What are these acts up to? And he near bit my head off. <laughs> Can't choose your kin, eh? Isn't that God's truth? <laughs> is that all, is that everything in this town? Um, I think there's an archer out there, so we'll mark this. Just before we leave, I'd like to hit up that place as well. Yeah, I think I think uh, <laughs> sound like a, a Warner Brothers character. I think I think I say I say. What was that giant rooster's name? Put in the comments if you remember. I can't remember now what that giant rooster was called. Oh, here he is. I say, I say, I say, boy. <laughs> Horse manure. Here's to a good harvest. Thanks, dude. Let's do this. A tankard here. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scarlet. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. My pleasure. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. You had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. Her parents, a girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujits, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened in Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. 
And judging by what's left of our Lubosh, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claim. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. A tanker what? here. If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujit is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and One murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Here. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry 
and they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. I'll have a beer. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. There. Satisfied? Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> He's becoming a drunkard. Na kraj panu dzisiaj smutek, do dnia loj rano utek, niech już może zimaj sad, do wczera żył nesaje prak, już sej woi sławi murzy, nech nie wykwej wie i kuczy, na mnie to jedno, a ta syna mi jedno, a może lep się ubi jako posły nie jem, murzy sławi, a do rana sławi, a tak mi pan sumi, a posadź se mi sen, tak posadź se sen, a ty pan nie wem. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So? I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. <laughs> really? This, this is what Henry's come to. Oh no. Oh, Godwin. Whoa! 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 So Thou shalt not hurt thy neighbor, fucker. Boga! Who's this guy boxing with me? Oh. <laughs> 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 Too much fun. <laughs> He's out. Okay, who's next? Oh, I should have the father. <laughs> He's totally keeping Oh, the bailiff. He's totally keeping him up. Nice. Oh, my dear. Wouldn't you like to have a little ring on the bell? Both are said and done. <laughs> I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. Occupied. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dears. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're a buffoon. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. <laughs> we 
can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> This is just drawn. Ah, oh, bloody elf. <sighs> and now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come here. <laughs> Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Things that we asked to do. <coughs> Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher, in my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Yeah. Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this. I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. Sure. <laughs> That's just not right. <sighs> well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. But what do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. 
You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know oh, about Lubos. Lame. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. So, Henry was an upstanding citizen, and he was trying not to booze and to... to drink and to stay sober and who dragged him down <laughs> it's quite funny well i'm going to stop uh, this episode here we'll view the sermon in the next one till then as always you keep safe like a and bye bye <laughs>